At ADP, we understand the importance of building the right team and offer the data insights to help. Just as importantly, our AI technology helps you pay the team accurately. Grow stronger with ADP. HR, talent, time, and payroll. Star Trek, the original series. The Day of the Dove. Planet Surface, Kirk, McCoy, Chekhov, a security guard, are beamed down to a planet with green sky, occasionally outcrops of vertical rocks. The phases are drawn. <coughs> Kirk, report Mr. Chekhov. Chekhov, full scan, results negative. Radiation level normal. Atmosphere and terrain are undisturbed. No evidence of a colony, nor any residual, reg- residual after effect of a force that might have annihilated it. Kirk, live readings of Dr. McCoy? McCoy, nothing. They said they were being attacked by an unidentified ship, Chekhov, which we were unable to detect upon approach. Kirk, an entire human colony, a whole settlement, 100 men, women and children, who did it? And why? Communicate a beep, Kirk here. Spock. Spock here, Captain. Bridge. Spock. Detectors have picked up a Klingon ship. Closing fast. Kirk, defectors on condition red. Protect yourselves. Planet surface, Kirk. Total reply. If attacked. So that's the answer. Klingons. Bridge, Sulu. Trouble aboard a Klingon ship. Evidence of explosions. Massive destruction. Planet surface, five furious Klingons. Beam down. Spark, Captain. The enemy ship is drifting. Totally disabled. Bridge, Spock. And we never fired up on her. Planet surface. Kirk. Maintain red alert. The Klingons arrive. The leader hits Kirk with his instructor, knocking him down. Kang. You attacked my ship. 400 of my crew dead, Kirk. My ship is disabled. I claim yours. You are now prisoners of the Klingon Empire, against which you have committed a wanton act of war. A weird swirl of light hangs in the air. A little way away, the Federation landing party are disarmed. Krang, for three years, the Federation cling on the Empire, been at peace, to a treaty with honour to the letter. Krang, Kirk, we took no action against your ship, Krang. Krang, where are the screams of my crew imaginary? What were your orders, Kirk? To start a war, you succeeded. To test a new weapon, we shall be happy to examine it. Kirk. There was a Federation colony on this planet. It was destroyed. Krang, by what? No bodies, no marines, a colony of the invisible. Kurt, yes, a test of a new Klingon weapon. Leaving the traces, Federation ships don't specialise in sneak attacks. Krang, we have wondered when you would begin. You lured my ship into ambush by a false Klingon distress call. You tell us why, with the, the proper persuasion. Kirk, you received a distress call? We received a distress call. Krang, I have done proposed to send, spend the rest of my life on this ball of dust arguing your fantasies. The enterprise is mine. Instruct your transporter room to beam us aboard. Kirk, go to the devil. Krang, we have no devil, Kirk, but we understand the habits of yours. I shall torture you to death, one by one, until your noble captain cries enough. Who will be first? Check off Cossacks, filthy Klingon murderers. You killed my brother Hutri. The Ekronians for research outposts. A hundred peaceful people massacred, just like you did here. My brother, you killed my brother. Kang, have you volunteered to join him? That is loyalty. A Klingon places an agonizer on Klingon's Kirkov's face. He screams, Kirk is held back. Kirk, check off. Stop the torture. McCoy, Jim, you can't hand over the Enterprise. Kirk, help Chekhov. Kang, don't plan any tricks, Kirk. I will kill 100 hostages. First sign of treachery. Kirk, I beam your bold Enterprise once. There were no tricks. Kang gives him the communicator. Chekhov, Captain, you can't. Don't let these animals have the ship. McCoy, move aside. He turns to the dock. Chekhov. Kang, animals, your captain calls like one. 
Clayton would have never surrendered. Order everyone in this area to be transported up. All weapons on him. Kirk. Kirk could enterprise, Mr. Spock. Spock. Here, Captain. Kirk. Mr. Spock. We have guests. Address the transporter to wide field. Beam up everyone in the target area and presses a button. Bridge and amber light flashes by the captain's chair. Spock understood captain transporter room. The group is beamed up and the weird light follows transporter room. Just the four Federation people materialize on the pads. Kirk, full mid security, Johnson, on the double. Trigger guard runs off. Spock enters. Kirk, good work, Spock. McCoy, what happened? Spock, our line of is intact, Doctor. Scott, all the others suspended in transit. Who are all the guests, by the way? Kirk, Klingons. Scott, well, you're right in here. Kirk, Johnson. Johnson, security on its way, sir. Check, check off, Captain. Leave them where they are, non-existent. There's so many Klingon monsters in the galaxy. Two more... There's so many less Klingon monsters in the galaxy. Two more security guards arrive. Kirk, bring them in. The Klingons materialize and they're quickly disarmed. Johnson, move them out. Move, Clark, Kang, liar. Kirk, I said no tricks after we reached the ship. You're a prisoner of the Federation of Fe- Federation of Planets, against which you may or may not have committed an act of war. Kang, there are still survivors aboard my ship. Scott, Captain, we're not able to get through to Starfleet Command. All subspace frequencies have been blocked. There's not too much radiation coming from the red Klingon ship, so headed to the vicinity. Kirk, prepared to, to disrupt. Kang, completely the job you started, Kirk. You, you wouldn't be standing here if I had. Bok, first group from the Klingon vessel, Captain. Six Klingons arriving. Two women materialise. they hustled. Away, except one, Kang, my wife, Ma- Mara, and my science officer. Mara, Kirk, what has happened? K- Kang, what has happened? Kang, more Federation treachery. Tre- 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 we are prisoners. Mara, what will you do to us? I've heard that the atrocities, their death camps, they will torture us for our scientific, for our scientific and the military information. Kirk, apparently, you have a few things to learn about us. To take them in the crew lounge, program the food synthesizer to accommodate our guests. You'll be well treated, Kang. Kang, so, so I have seen. Kang and me and Mara are led away. Kirk, secure for red alert. Corridor, the weird light hides as Kirk and Spock leave the transporter room. Kirk, we maintain general quarters. Scan this sector for other ships. Run a full check of the colony. I want this thing nailed down fast. Chekhov, we know what happened. A distress call. Spock, at the moment we received a distress call for the colony of Beta 12. A. The Klingons were too far distant to have been the attackers. Moreover, they also apparently attracted it by a distress call. Turbo lift. Chekhov lies. They want to start a war by pretending that they did what we did. That we did. Tunkai, Chekhov may be right. Klingons claim to have honoured the truce, but they have been innocent, raised on our outposts. Cut no proof that Klingons committed it. McCoy, what proof do we need? We know what a Klingon is. These are turbolith spot. A lot of tapes would indicate our innocence in the present situation. Cut, unfortunately, there's no guarantee that they will be believed. Bridge. Kirk, report. Eurora. Still no contact with Starfleet Command, sir. Outside communications blanketed. Kirk, keep trying. We've got a diplomatic tiger by the tail. Scott, transport the room to bridge. Klingon ship is located, sir. Kirk, very good, Scotty. Mr. Sulu. Sulu, forward phasers locked and ready to fire, sir. Kirk, fire phasers. Klingon ship is vaporized. Well, sensor sweeps and reveal no other ships within range, Captain. Kirk, Lieutenant Eura. You are in no contact with Starfleet as yet, sir. Kirk, Mrs. Sulu, change course to 17 Mark 4, walk factor 3. Sulu, walk factor 3, sir. Cool lounge, lounge, Kang. When I take this ship, I have Kirk head stuffed and hung on his cabin wall. 
Mara. They will kill us before we can act, Kang. No, they wish to question us, learn our strengths, our plans. They never will. Mara, we are 40 against 40 to 400. Killing on 400 throats may be cut in one night by a running man. Kang, patience, vigilance. They will make a mistake, catch up of the enterprise, and give us knowledge to end this war quickly. Bridge, a weird light from the planet is up near the ceiling. Euro losing his temper. Captain, this doesn't make sense. Carriers are normal. Channels are open. There's still no outside contact. I don't understand it, sir. Could a cleaner be doing something? Then the ship shudders as if from an explosion. The charge changes course. Kirk, Sulu? Sulu, changing course, accelerating. Helm dead. Auxiliary notification dead. Kirk, override. Sulu, nothing responds, Captain. Kirk. Scotty, stop all engines. Scott, I would if I could, sir. Engineering, Scott. The controls have gone crazy. Something's taken over. Bridge. Cut. Scotty. Scott. The engineer, engine, sir. Engineering. Scott. Have gone to warp nine by themselves. Bridge. Cut. New course. Sulu. Nine to uh, two mark five. Cut. That takes us out of the galaxy. Euro. Captain reports. Coming from the lower decks. The emergency bulkheads have closed. Almost 400 crewmen are trapped down there, sir. Crew lounge. Crang, most interesting. The bulk of your crew's trapped. Your ship racing from its, this galaxy at wild speeds. Delightful. How did I perform this sabotage, Kirk? All my men are here. Kirk Johnson, get down to security. Search every section. Some cleaning ones may have been ruled undetected. A wrecked ship. And get down to engineering and help Scotty hammer things out to norm, back to normal. Free those trapped crewmen to Kang. And before I put you in a brig, is there a little something I owe you? He punches Kang, a solitaire set on the table, changes into the salt sword. This Kang picks up, plant plot, a 3D set, becomes swords, Kirk phases. They all turn into swords too. The stun pulls and a brief fight as a Starfleet group get out of the room. Kirk out. Fit corridor, bald clown, stand and fight you cowards, another brief skirmish, and Johnson gets stabbed. They make it to the into the turbo lift. Kirk sit by. Six security men carry their comrade out. Kirk bridge. Bridge. Kirk, the cleaners are free. They're armed as we are. They tr- they tried to take the ship. Scotty, how many men do we have? Scott, 392 trapped below the decks. Kirk, deploy forces to protect our set- your section and the auxiliary control centre. Engineering, Kirk, check this armory and try and free those trapped crewmen. Scott, the bulk doors of bulkheads won't budge. We have to cut through. Bridge. Cut. Blow out the bulkheads if you have to. We need numbers. What kind of luck have you had controlling ship speed? Engineering. Scott knows. No, sir. He's a projectile. Nought nine. And don't ask me what's holding it together. Kirk. Five minute report. Kirk out. Bridge. Kirk. Full sets of scan of the ship. Report on any movement on clip by the Klingons. The Klingon Empire has maintained a dueling tradition. They think they can beat us with swords. But Captain, neither the te- Klingon technology nor ours is capable of this. In 10 years, transmission of matter, I doubt that they are responsible. Kirk and a lo- have a logical candidate? Spot none. However, if they, if they had such power, would they not be have used it to create more efficient weapons? Only for themselves. <coughs> <coughs> Kirk, Mr. Sulu, get below. Take command of engineering. Auxiliary control. Sulu, I, sir. Sulu leaves. Ka- Chekhov, Captain. We have swords, too. Kirk, Mr. Chekhov? Chekhov, Captain. Gets, get up. Gets up to go with Sulu. Kirk, Mr. Chekhov. As you are, well, check off, check off, sir. Let me go too. I've got a personal score to set with the Klingons. Kurt, this is no time for a vendetta. Maintain your post. Check off, Captain. Kurt, check off, maintain your post. Check off, don't try to stop me, Captain. I saw what he left the picture. I swore on his grave I would avenge his murder. Check off, dashes into the turbo lift. Sulu, what's check off's grudge against the Klingons? Who's Petra? Kirk, his only brother, killed in the Klingon raid. 
So do his brother. He never had a brother. He's an only child. Kirk Sulu, get down to engineering. Sulu, I so. Sulu leaves. Kirk security, this is the captain. Find Mr. Chokov and bring him to the bridge. You, captain, why would, why would Chekhov believe he is a brother? Kirk, I don't know, but he does. And now he wants revenge for non-existent loss. Sit, babe. McCoy finishes bandaging Johnson. McCoy, they're here, there. There's filthy butchers. They rule, they rules even in war. They don't keep, don't keep having a man after he's down. Hand me the normal law capsule. There's a man with a head wound in another bed. Security guards brought in two. Science lab. The Klingons access ship semantics on a desk monitor. Klingon lay out the specifications of the Enterprise Commander. Mara. Energy num- emily numbers are the same as ours. We'll have a fighting balance. Kang. Then we take the ship. Klingon. A ship that is heading towards the end of the galaxy. Kang in time. In time. We must take these sections. First, Klingon engineering. Armory. Kirk. Kirk here. Scott. Scott here, sir. It knows you used to try and leave these men down below. Phaser torches. It won't cut through the bulkheads. All the doors, all the decks. And something happened to the metal. Kirk, what about the armory? Scott, I am here now, sir. I've never seen such a fine collection of antiques in your life. We pull back to see racks of swords, billhooks, pikes. Bridge. Kirk, get back to engineering. Try to re-establish engine control. And try and talk to the audience about... Manufacturing manufacturing phase of replacements. Army, Scott I, sir. Spots a special sword amongst the enemy ones. A Claymore, you beauty. Bridge. Kirk, what are blazes going on? Spock, scans indicate that our forces, those of the Klingons, are equally, exactly equal, 38 each. The Klingons control deck 6 and starboard deck 7. While we control all sections above. Kirk. Constant surveillance, Mr. Spock. Spock. More curious, Captain. There appears to be another more life energy. Units on board and can be accounted by for presence of the entire crews. Thus the Klingons are considerable discrepancy. Could, could more Klingons have been on board? Spock, I wish you attempt a, a comprehensive reading of Klingon units. Corridor outside engineering. Inside engineering. Weird light. Seems to be bigger. Scott climbs up an access ladder to the corridor. Scott, any signs of those devils, Mr. Sulu? So it's all clear, Mr. Scott. Engineer, Scott is taking some engineers. Talking to some engineers when they are jumped by Klingons. He backs out in the corridor where Sulu quarter chops Scott's attacker. Corridor engineering. Outside engineering. Scott, they're taking engineering. I don't know how many more of these Klingons are around. Boy slip up here and try to make it back to the bridge. Sulu I. Engineering Kang and Mira coming to receive the praise of the crew. All oh, victory, victory. Bridge Spock. No additional clearance detected, Captain. It is an alien life force, a single entity. I can't ascertain its location. Kirk, a alien life force. We must have made contact. We must make contact. Find out what it wants, Spock. Readings. We diverted to the library computer for analysis. Computer report. Computer alien life force out on board is composed of pure energy type unknown actions indicated intelligence and purpose. Spock, what purpose? Computer insufficient data for final and al- further analysis. Kirk, a brother that never existed. Phantom Connolly. Imagine just fresh calls, the creation of these weapons. Do you sense a pattern, Mr. Spock? Spock, if, you, if the alien is creating these events, Captain, it's apparently capable of manipulating matter and mind. Kirk, and now it is has controlled the Enterprise, taking us out of the galaxy, but why? But, Captain, I am constrained to point out that since minds have only been influenced, we could not know at this moment if our memories are completely accurate and true. Kirk, we must talk to Kang, bury the hatchet, Spock, a proper choice of word, terms. However, it's notoriously difficult to arrange a truce. Klingons, once blood has been drawn. McCoy, truce? Are you serious? I've got many sick bay. Some of them dying, atrocities committed on their persons. You talk about making peace of these men fiends. If, if our backs are turned, they'll jump us in a minute. You know that. 
Klingons do to their prisoners, slave labor, death planets, experiments. Kirk McCoy? McCoy, while well, you're talking, the planning attacks. This is a fight to the death. We better start trying to win it. Spock, we are attempting to end it, Doctor, by reason, preferably. There's an alien on board, which may have created a situation. McCoy, who cares what's, what started it, Mr. Spock? We're in it. Murders, we should wipe out every one of them. Kurt, the alien is the real threat. That's the enemy we have to wipe out. You're a sick bay calling doctor. The more wounded men crying on your attention. McCoy, how many more men must die for the, you to act, begin to act like military men? Instead of fools, leaves, and it's gone whistles. Engineering, Kirk. Kirk, here. Kang, this is Kang. Bridge, Kirk, Kang. There's something important I must discuss with you, Kang. I've captured your engineering section. Now control this ship's power and all, and life support systems. Engineering, Kang. I deprived all areas except our own. You would die of suffocation in the icy cold of space. Bridge, the power has gone off. Kirk, dictating into pit. Pit pad. Enterprise is heading out of the galaxy, controlled by a mysterious alien somewhere aboard a ship. Engineering is taken over by Klingons, who've cut off our life support systems. Mr. Sulu, Sulu Captain. Kirk, get down to the emergency mineral control. Try to protect our life support circuits and auxiliary power. So, I, Captain. Scott leaves as Scott. Sulu leaves as Scott arrives. Scott, sir, check off as right, Captain. Kirk, Scotty? I'm glad you come, Scott. We've got. We should have left those fuzzy-faced goons in the transport. And right where they, that's right where they belong. Cut, Scotty. Scott, non-existent. Now you can study Enterprise. Add a, or technology to theirs. Change the balance of power. You jeopardize the Federation. Cut, Scotty. Take it easy. Spot easy, Mister Scott. Scott, you keep your hand Vulcan hands off me. Just keep away, your feelings must be hurt, you green-blooded half-breed. Spock, may I say that I have not thoroughly enjoyed serving humans. I find it illogical, logic. A foolish emotions, a constant irritant, Scott. Then transfer us out, then transfer her out, freak. Kirk, gentlemen, intervenes as they nearly come to blows. Spock, got it, Spock, Spock, stop it. You're human, half-human. What are we saying? What are we doing to each other? Scott, Spock, fascinating. The world was all to stress. Kirk, we've been under stress before. Never let each other, never set us at each other's throats. Scott, but this is war. Kirk, this isn't any war. There isn't any war. Or is there? Scott, have you really forgotten how to defend ourselves? Scott, Kirk, Scotty. What happened to us? We've been trained to think in other terms than the war. Been trained to fight its causes as if necessary. And why are we behaving like a group of savages? Look at me, look at me, two forces aboard a ship, each of them equally armed. Has war been staged for us, complete with weapons and an orgy, patriotic drum beating? Even Scott, even Spock, even race hatred? Spock, your recent events would seem to direct towards a, toward a modification of basic hostilities between humans and Klingons. Apparently it's designed that we fight we seem to be pawns. Kirk, but what is the game and whose? And what are the rules? Well, it's most urgent that we locate the alien of entity immediately and determine its motives, a method of halting its activities. Scott, whatever senses, without senses, all our power down, this thing could go anywhere. Kirk, yes, Mr. Sulu, report. Sulu, no good, Captain. Jeffrey Troop, Sulu, circuits are, are in, the systems aren't responding. The lights come back on. Bridge, Kurt, we're getting something. Jeffrey True, Sulu, I kept him. Power and life support restored. Remotes on standby. Kurt, good work. Scott, but Captain, I didn't do it. Everything just came on by, well, it's by itself. Engineering Mara, their life supports have resumed. Bridge, Kurt, well, senses that may be operating. Kurt, start scanning. Let's find that alien. Engineer Mara, holding steady. Crane, calls them to be unsteady. Mara, they appear to be controlled from another location. Also, unable to affect ship's course for return to our empire. Crane, one of Kirk's tricks could be bypass this circuit. What power is that? That little 
for the ports of battle, yet stars of victory, power interrupt. And then Elaine lies to port, coplings, that, that where? Mara, number six, six deck to cling on, come, bridge. Alien detected in the engineering section, near radi- reactor number three. Kirk, let's go. Kirk and Spock, armed with swords, leave the bridge. Corridor, the weird light hides as Chekhov comes along. He hides and kills a Klingon and takes Mara prisoner. Chekhov, you won't die yet. You're not human, but you're very beautiful, very beautiful. He rips her top, covers his mouth, and leaves his intentions to no imagination. He rips her top, covers her mouth, and leaves his attention to your imaginations. Kirk comes along in a nick of time. Kirk, check off. He hauls off Myra, slaps him twice, knocking him out. Spock, Jim, he's not responsible. Kirk, what have I done to Myra? There's an alien entity aboard board this ship. It's forcing us to fight. We don't want to. We don't know what we what his motive is. We're trying to find out. You must help us. Take me to Crane, a temporary truce. That's all we I ask, Spock, take her. Welcome, Myra, leave. Kirk, check off. Check off, pick, picks him up. Is that what is in store for us from here on in? Violence, hatred. Sick Bay is very busy. Kirk carries in check off. Followed by Spock, Myra, Myra. McCoy, brainwaves show almost paranoid mania. What happened? Kirk, look, we lost control. Sit on the eye. We're becoming animal warriors. Let's go, Spock. McCoy, but orderly. Jim, Johnson's heart. When he's almost healed, some same the other saw casualties, saw wounds in the vital organs, massive trauma shot, they're all hitting fantastic rate. But it would appear that the entity wants us alive. Cut why? So we can fight and fight and keep coming back for more like some bloody cause of the casinium. What next? Some world crowds? But perhaps human and cling on philosophies and combat capabilities capabilities being tested by an alien with designs of both powers. McQuay, gentlemen, if you're pawns, you're looking at one extremely sorry. But I understand, Doctor. I too feel a brief search of racial bigotry most distasteful. Kirk, let's find the alien tomorrow. You've come with us. Maybe we can prove to to you that it exists. Corridor, the weird light is up ahead of them, a growing red. Kirk, what is it? Spock, totally unfamiliar. Kirk, what do you want? What are you doing here? Johnson, putting on duty, sir. Kirk, duty? But McCoy, release. Did McCoy release you from sick bay? Johnson, I released myself. Kirk, then get back to sick bay. Johnson, not on your life. I'm fit and ready for action. The clangers almost did me in once. I'll go, I'm out to even a score. Kirk, I hold you. Johnson, I got my orders, obeying orders. Kill the Klingons. It's them or us, isn't it? Kirk Johnson, they cross swords, but it's off. But it's spelt nerve pinches Johnson. The light becomes a lelo. Spelt fascinating. During Lieutenant Johnson's emotional outburst, expressions of hatred and lust for vengeance. In life energy level increased. When the Lieutenant became unconscious, the alien lost energy. Kirk, it's a stiff on emotions of others. Spelt. This one appears to be strengthened by mental irritations of facility, violent intentions. Kirk, it, 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 it exists on the hate of others. But, it, to put it simply, if he acted as a catalyst, creating a situation in order to satisfy that need, we brought together opposing forces, very crude instruments, in an effort to promote the most violent mode of conflict. Kirk can keep numbers of resources balanced, so he can maintain a constant state of violence. It's got to have a more vulnerable area. We've got to get rid of it. Spock, then all his city attitudes on board must be eliminated. Fighting must end, and soon. Cut all the doomed ship travelling forever between galaxies. Filled with eternal bloodlust, eternal warfare. Kang has got to listen. We've got to pull our knowledge and get rid of this thing. Goes into Kong. Kang, Kang, this is Captain Kirk, engineering. Kirk, Kang, do you read me? Corridor, Maria, Maria, Commander, it's a trick. Kirk, Kang, switches off intercom. He won't, won't answer. Spock, the alien is affecting his mind, Captain Spock. Soon it becomes so powerful that none of us will be able to resist uh, resist it. Spock, Scotty, sir, bridge. Scott, the ship's uranium crystals are deteriorating. We can't stop the process. Corridor, Captain. Corridor, Kirk, Kirk, 
Time factor? Spock, in 12 minutes we'll be totally without engine power. Kirk, well, do whatever you can. Kirk out. The weird light floats off through a brioche head. Kirk, and so we drift in space with all the hatred and bloodshed aboard. Now, do you believe? Catch long star date Armageddon. You must find a way to defeat the alien force of, of hate and take over the Enterprise. Stop the war now. Spend an eternity in fertile, fertile blood violent, bloody violence. Bridge. Scott, there's no change, Captain. The Divirium crystals are discharging. Spock, there's nothing you can do about it. Kirk, if I could talk to Crane, some how was cut through the Crane on lines? Make peace before it's too late. Spock, we have nine minutes, 30, 55, three seconds to boil up. Zero. Spock, there is, of course, a logical alternative. Crane's wife is, after all, a prisoner. Perhaps a threat. Scott, I. Now, there's something the Klingons would understand. Kirk, Kang, Kang, this is Captain Kirk, engineering. Kirk, I know you can hear me, so don't cut me off. We are Mia, your wife. We talk truce or she dies, reply. Bridge. Kirk, we have, she has five minutes to live, reply. Engineering, Kang, she's a victim of war, Captain. Bridge, Kang, she understands, Kirk. You call my bluff, Mia. Maria, you're not going? Kirk, the Federation doesn't kill its to mi- or mistreat prisoners, but listen to propaganda for evils. How much time? Spock. Eight minutes, 42 seconds. Maria. So this is no trick, Scott. It's an alien that does, that's done this. It's a way in its, it, 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 in, in its power of people and not out of yours. Kirk, and we only wanted to stop the fighting to save us all. Maria, we always fought. We must. We are hunters, Captain, tracking and and taking what we need. We are poor planets. We are poor planets in the Klingon systems. You must pull forward if we have to survive. Kirk, there's no way to survive. Mutual trust and help. Maria, I will help you now. Kirk, how? Maria, I'll take you to Kang. I will add my voice to yours, Kirk. I don't trust her, Captain. Kirk, we can't get through Klingon defences in time. Unless Spock into ship beaming from one spot section to another. Is it possible? Spock is rarely, rarely been done because of the danger involved. Pinpoint accuracy is required. Transporter D should materialise inside a solid object or deck or wall. Scott, you may good work. You may be leading you into traps, Kurt. Warn a trap. This is the only way out. Scott, we'll go with you. Kurt, no, that's a start. Let's start the final, that'll start the final battle. I believe her. Right over the head of her and Walter. We wait for a signal. Kurt and Maria leave. Scott, we can't, she can't guarantee that Kane will have stopped the list of Mr. Spock. But no, no one can guarantee the actions of other, another. Transwater room. Spock, your automatic setting is laid in, Captain. Bridge Spock. When Transwater is engine energized, you have eight seconds to get onto, get to the pads. Transwater room. Kurt, I hope your communications or correct, Mr. Spock. Spock, you know, in 7.9 seconds, Captain, a dash to the pads when Kirk returns the console to leave his cutters behind. Engineering, Kirk and Maria, beam in, Crane. Maria, you're alive. You're bringing us a prize. Maria, Crane, wait. We come alone. Came alone, unarmed. We must talk to you. Crane, brave Captain, what about? Maria, no, listen to him. We're all in danger. The weird light is glowing blood red. Maria, Kurt, Maria, before you stop killing, give me, give me one minute. Kang swings his sword at Kirk's head. Marina intervenes. Maria, Kang, don't. Kang, what have you done to you? Maria, are you about out of your mind? What have they done to you? Sees the turn tonic. I see why the human beast did not kill you. Maria, they didn't harm me. Listen to him. Kang pushes her aside. As he throws Kirk a sword, the two leaders an old-fashioned sword fight. Stop, stop, please, Kang. With the de- your death we win, Kirk. Nobody wins. Have any more of your men died? We can't be killed. There's an alien board. It wants us alive. Kirk, no doubt you will assemble one for a hack you to bits. Maria, you fool. Contingent of the Federation. Could McCoy spot take on the rest of the Klingons? The corridor. Spock cheats with his neck pinch. 
When the clerk gets to the point of his sword at Krang's throat, Krang, look, look, Krang, for the rest of our lives, thousand lifetimes, senseless violence, fighting, while an alien has total control of us. Kirk throws away his sword. Kirk, all right, all right, in the heart, in the head. I won't stay dead. Next time I do the same to you. I'll kill you. Goes on. Good old game of war. Pawn against pawn. Stopping the bad guys. Well, somewhere, something sits back and laughs and starts. It's all over again. McCoy, let's, let's jump in. Spock. Those who hate and fight must stop themselves, Doctor. Otherwise it's not stopped. Maria, Krang, I'm your wife. I'm a Klingon. We're lighted for them. Listen to Kurt. He's telling the truth. Kurt, be a pawn, be a toy, be a good soldier. And never, never question all this. Krang looks at the weird light that throws down his sword. Krang, Krang, Klingons kill for their own purposes. But all fighting must end, Captain, to weaken the alien before the Trivium crystals are gone. Kurt, Lieutenant Uhura, Uhura, yes, Captain. Kurt, put me on a whip. What ship wide intercom? You are I, sir. Kurt, Kang. You are ready, Captain? Kurt, this is Captain Kurt. The truce is ordered. Fighting is over. Lay down your weapons. Kang, this is Kang. Cease hostilities. Disarm. Fighting stops. The weird light turns orange. But the cessation of violence appears have weakened it, Captain. Suggest that good spirits make an effective weapon. Kurt, get off my ship. You're a dead duck here. You're powerless. We know about you. We won't. We, won't, we don't want to play. Maybe you have others like you around. Maybe you've caused a lot of suffering, a lot of history, but it's all over. We're on guard now, ready for the, for you. So ship so ship out. Come on, haul it. McCoy, yeah, out already. Crane, out. We need no urging to hate humans. But for the present, only four will fight it's burning, in a burning house. Out. The sun laughs as the weird light turns to white and leaves the Enterprise.